Hello, this is Sprick with the Cash Line. Here's my first movie review. So originally I was gonna do um, <clears throat> a uh, movie I own or uh, an older movie, not like an older movie, but like a movie that came out last year in 2022. Um, but since I've really seen two movies uh, this past week back to back, I saw Bo's Afraid and Evil Dead Rise. I figured I might as well just review those movies. Um, so that's gonna be like a little two-in-one special. Don't get used to it. Uh, I probably do like one movie, one video, uh, every time I review a movie. Um, but we'll make an exception this time because it's my first movie review video. Um, so I'll start off with the big one that everyone's talking about is, um, Bo is Afraid. So, uh, a lot of mixed opinions about it. Um, some people say it's too long. Some people say it's too boring. People say it's Air Aster's worst movie so far. Uh, there's a lot of things. Now, I kind of stand a little bit conflicted with it. I saw it Thursday. Today is, um, Monday. So, uh, I've had some time to, like, think about it. And, um, I've actually grown to, like, like it. Not like I don't, like, love it or anything. Like, I want to be clear. It's no next hereditary, you know. I, I, uh, uh, in my opinion, you know, I think it's not a hot take or anything. Hereditary is a fantastic movie. It's one of the best, like, horror movies out there. You can watch. It really innovated a lot of things. Um, I already had known coming into this movie that was not going to be very hereditary. In fact, <laughs> a, a spoiler, uh, I was just not looking forward to this movie. Um, I love Joaquin Phoenix. I love Air Aster. But uh, I was not looking forward to this movie. The, tra the trailers just did not look that good to me. Uh, I heard it was going to be three hours long, and I love longer movies, but, like, there's just something about it where, like, I could tell, I could tell right off the bat from the trailers and whatnot that this was going to be a dragged on three hour movie, and, spoiler, it was. Um, now, do I think it being dragged on ruins the movie? Not necessarily. I'll get into that. So, the movie follows, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. He plays a character named Bo, um, and he's making a journey to, uh, go to his mother, um, Bo ha has, like, uh, extreme anxiety and, uh, definitely some mental illness. And so, yeah, he goes on this three-hour-long journey, this epic journey to go to his mom. Now, the first hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours, I actually really liked. I really liked that. I thought the city that he was in reminded me of someone you would see in St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> uh, it was a really fucked up town, uh, city. With a lot of crazy people, naked people running on the streets, murder, uh, th thievery, just a lot going on. And he's afraid of it all. It's, uh, uh, clearly so. And it makes, but while it's showing you the city, um, you get, uh, you get like a realization that it's probably not actually real. He's probably like over exaggerating in his own head what he's seeing in the city. Not to say that city that he's living in is bad, but I think because of his anxiety or his fear, his highest fear and mental illness. It's um, leading you to question whether what he's seen is actually happening or not, which I thought was really cool. It doesn't actually um, tell you that. It doesn't say, oh, yeah, like what happened is not happening. Um, you, it's kind of up to you to decide. I really do think, um, in my opinion, that it that he does live in a fucked up city, but like it's not that big of a deal uh, or as big as uh, he was making the seem. Um and that, so, so yeah, he's in this city, and then he finally leaves the city. I'm not going to get into spoilers, but, um, uh, he, he, uh, he, uh, meets this, this family, this small family. They, 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 he gets in this horrible accident, and, uh, they're kind of nursing him back up and whatnot. But, he, like I said, he's on the journey, goes to his mom, so he, and he knows that. He, he's saying, I need to get out of here, and he goes to the city, and they're kind of like, um, oh, we're just helping you out and whatnot. And that's where another thing happens, where, like, you're kind of, like, you're getting this vibe where, like, they're forcing to stay, but not technically forcing to stay. And so it's giving you, like, this cool, like, um, you're making, you're, you're kind of, you, the viewer, are kind of, like, uh, wondering, like, are they forcing to stay? Or is he thinking they're forcing to stay? Like, with his high anxiety, does he feel like they're in the wrong? Or is he in the wrong? Like, it just, the, the movie does really well with trying to get you to, like, imagine what's actually happening versus what he, you are seeing because you're definitely seeing the movie through his eyes for sure uh while the movie not be in first person um it it's uh sorry my my uh, girlfriend texted me uh the the, the 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 movie just leads you up to uh you figure out to what to what believe what you are seeing or what Bo is seeing 
Um, so, so, um, man, it's, it's kind of hard to get in spoilers. Um, all I can say, there's, there's specific scenes in this movie that, um, there's no, like, bad scenes maybe. There's, no, there's never, like, a scene where I'm like, okay, this is kind of a stupid scene or whatever. Um, the biggest problem with the movie is that there are scenes, though, that are just dragged on and you feel it's dragged on like you like you're you're sitting there watching it and the scene will go on for like five ten minutes and you're just left there um thinking man i i could have really just dealt with like the 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 first two minutes you know i got i, I got what they're trying to say i got what they're trying to show um I, it like it's just wasted uh you know five minutes or ten minutes and it happens repeatedly throughout the movie especially towards the end um there was just so much of just like um just some um dragged on scenes um i personally don't hate it as much as i heard other people hate it and it's just it's very obvious though and the, the, that leads to again the biggest complaint this is a long movie and you feel it i've seen a lot of movies i've seen irishman which is like a four hour movie like three times and um, that's a long movie. And while you can feel in that movie, you can definitely feel in Bo Bo's Afraid, the three hour mark, especially the last hour. You are like, man, is this movie gonna end like anytime soon? Now I wouldn't say that's in a bad way, cause I was saying that, but definitely not in a bad way. I was just kind of more like, man, like this movie feels like it's going on for a lot longer than three hours. Um, my girlfriend really wanted to see, like this movie and really wanted to see it. Um, I, I don't know if she likes it now. I didn't, I, have, I haven't asked her yet. Uh, I tried to give her some time to think about the movie a little before I have asked her. So I might have to ask her here soon and get her um, opinion and view on it. But, um, oh man, just talking about the movie makes me tired. So, yeah, so back to what I was saying. Um, so as far as it comes to like the movie as a whole, I'm just gonna go out there and say it, get this, get, give you the, the cold eyes here, you know, just rough and brutal. I did not like Midsummer that much. Midsummer was really cool. Um, the acting was cool. Florence Pugh was really cool. Um, really good idea. I just thought the movie was really boring. Um, it was just kind of like a light mode hereditary. Uh, I know I'm not the only one who shares that opinion. Um, it's just, it like, it just didn't give you anything, you know? It didn't give you anything special. It, to me, I, I, I just felt like I was just watching hereditary, but like a, um, like a, like a, like somebody had gotten hereditary and took out all the good parts of hereditary and then just like put the light on and whatnot and then that they called it good. So I did not like hereditary. So as far as it goes for like interactions like uh uh movies and whatnot, I would actually probably say Bozo Foods but that definitely better than hereditary. That's not saying much because I don't like hereditary that much. Uh I'm sorry, I've only seen it once. I just like I could not watch it again. I watch all my like I watch I try to watch every movie I've seen like at least twice the first time so I can like watch it obviously for the first experience the second time to watch it to fully grasp what the story's going to tell um so yeah I, I try to make a point to like watch almost every movie release uh uh in theaters and then when the movie comes out on streaming services or uh, i'm able to rent it or buy it uh then, then that's when i watch it again so who knows maybe, maybe in a couple months from now um when bill's freight comes out on streaming services or i'm able to rent it or whatever i'll probably watch it again and maybe my opinion might change on it i'll get back to you guys on that but as far as right now goes um, it, it was just a long movie. It's just a long movie, um, with a lot of dragged out scenes, but the story's good though. That's the thing. The, I think that's why it leaves a lot of people conflicted. It's like the story's not bad. Uh, it's a good story with good characters, good acting, obviously Walking Phoenix knows out of the park, which is another thing actually. Um, Bo itself, its character, I feel bad for Walking Phoenix almost for having to, uh, be Bo because... Bo doesn't feel like a character. Like he does, like he he has like no depth to him, which is like it's not Joaquin's fault. It's it's just the writing's fault. Um, Bo's just like Bo could have any name he wanted. He could have been Steve, your neighbor, and like you would have never like had known that because Bo just isn't like a like besides his anxiety and his high fear to everything. He just that's it. That's really it. Like like he has no character development at all. He has no like specially written things about him. Like it's just nothing. Like it's just a, a guy with anxiety and fear, and his name is Bo. And that's literally that's all you need to know coming to this movie. And three hours later, that's all you do know from this character is that he's his name is Bo, and he's anxiety, and he, he's afraid of everything. So Joaquin Phoenix just kind of ends up just playing himself. 
which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, I almost want to say that was almost initially thing because it was because it was just so mind blowing to me. I, like, I, that was like that, that's what I was thinking from the movie. It's like damn, this bow guy just like he's not that deep, you know. But I almost want to say that's what maybe what Air Astro was going to was uh, trying trying to do was make this really like shallow character to because you know everyone has anxiety and a fear of something. And so I think almost the the intentional purpose was to get you, the viewer, to almost feel like your bow. But I feel like that might be just giving too much credit to your Aster. Uh, it just kind of mind boggles me how shallow this character was written. Um, so yeah, that that's another complaint. That's another for sure complaint. Um, so if I, 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 all in all, if I had to give this movie um, a one out of ten. I'd probably give it like 6.5, 7. Um, I'm sure when I watch this movie again months from now, I'll probably end up giving this 7. But for right now, I'm probably going to stick with the 6.5. Uh, I think you should watch it. I do I do highly think most people should watch it. If you don't like longer movies, don't watch it. If you think this movie is going to be like a horror movie, don't watch it. This movie is not a horror movie. Uh, in fact... Uh, I w this movie barely surpasses PG-13, in my opinion. Uh, you could tell why it's not PG-13. Uh, watch this movie. There are some scenes where, like, damn, okay, that, that explains why it's not PG-13. But they, if they just took out, like, five scenes in the movie, five, five different scenes, like, the movie could have easily been PG-13. So, um, not that I have a problem with that, but I know some people are going to be coming to this movie thinking that, like, oh, it's a horror movie, or it's going to, like, mess me up, whatever. Um, it's not. It's just a very long... A drama movie um but i will give credit where credit's due don't watch this movie while being on drugs i really do think this movie will fuck you up if you're on drugs uh very very um there's a lot of cra like there's just so much things happening all the time the, the uh, which i kind of like 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 there'd be scenes happening so fast and so many things are happening so fast in a span of 30 minutes and then there'd be scenes that just kind of like i said it would be dragged on for like 10 minutes and it's a lot slower and it would just hop back and forth from that for like the whole movie and i actually kind of like that because it kind of kept you edging your feet and uh again uh this is why i also think um Bo was ran so shallowly because i felt i had anxiety while watching the movie like for real like i like i've never watched a movie where like i was on the edge of my seat because i was like Man, what is going to happen next? I can guarantee you, you can do and not expect what's going to happen next every five minutes. It was something different every single scene in the movie, which was a good thing. Uh, so yeah, with all that being said, 6.5. That, that's the best I'm going to give it for right now. Um, on, a, on a flip note, um, let's talk about Evil Dead Rise. Uh, spoiler, I liked Evil Dead Rise. Um... Not as much as everyone else. I know some people going crazy about this movie. Uh, saying that like, oh, it's one of the best horror movies uh, that's come out in a while. Oh, it's uh, it's changing everything. Oh, it's the best Evil Dead. Like, like that's crazy to me. It's it's good. Don't get me wrong. But it's definitely like not like S-tier horror making movie and whatnot. Now, I'm a little biased when it comes to that because I'm actually not a huge fan of horror movies. Not because they're scary or anything. It's actually quite opposite. I don't find horror movies that scary. Uh, they're all super generic. They all kind of follow the same pattern and, and uh, recipe and whatever. So I just don't think horror movies are just that interesting to watch. But um, I try. I do I do like to watch them. Just, just in case if one of them is going to um, mind blow me one day. And this movie almost did that. It was, it was good. It was unique um, to a certain point. Uh, there was, the best scene this movie had for it was, um, the screenplay, 100%. Um, I won't get into spoilers again, but there's one scene where, um, the, the, the possessed person, um, I think actually she's in the trailer, so the mom is possessed, okay, the mom's possessed, and there's one scene where she's in the, in the hallway of the building they're in, and she's just killing everybody, and while you're, while, while you're seeing that, while you're witnessing that, she's killing everybody, the, the camera, you're actually seeing it through the people of uh, of the room that the main characters are in. So you're seeing her go back and forth down this hallway, just absolutely just killing everybody. Nuts to butts action or whatever of just blood and limbs and just going haywire. But you're seeing it through the people. I thought that was really cool and you really unique. And then... Um, there's other scenes in the movie where like it, it, it does similar things but i thought that was definitely the most unique scene 
was the peephole. Uh, and you got to see a lot of people get murdered. Um, but um, the, other than that, though, like, the movie was just super... Like, the movie kind of played it safe, almost. Where it was like... like my biggest complaint with the movie was that it what it didn't go to the extreme enough, which I felt like it should have gone. Like there'd be scenes where I'm like, oh, like it's about to get crazy, and then it kind of didn't. Like it was still violent. It was still kind of like, oh wow, like like damn, like you just killed somebody and not in a cool way, like fuck. But it like it almost kind of wants you makes you like in your back of your head like damn, like I kind of wish for my Evil Dead movie, especially after the one that came out two thousand thirteen. I think it's, it did. Um, it just made you want more a little bit. Um, which that's another thing I want to get into. The movie, the 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 first remake. I think I want to get through thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I love that one. I love. It. I think I own like two copies of it on disc because I just love this so much. I thought it was so cool. It was it was violent. It was unique. It was scary. It like it, that one. I feel like should be the how the one when people are talking about. Instead of Rise, Th that one was just so good, and I truly thought this movie was gonna top that one, but it didn't. Now it's not a bad thing because it, it it did come close, like like it's right there. This is right there to being almost just as good as the first one, um, but it's not though, sadly. Um, good movie though. Good movie. If you if you want if you want something that like a good horror movie, uh, that's that's that you're gonna like. Um, I would recommend watching this movie. Um, you, if you love horror movies, you would love this movie. Uh, it's just, there was just some things that I just kind of had minor complaints with. Like, again, with, like, the holes, how we played it really safe. And, um, the, 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 the ending, I want to talk, I want to talk about the ending for a little bit. I don't want to spoil it, but the, the ending was just, was kind of just not good. Um, it was just kind of like, um, how do I explain it? Like, it's just kind of like, um dumb <laughs> like like in the, in the, in the nicest way possible it was just kind of a dumb ending it was just kind of like a uh the most cookie cutter ending it could have been uh which was so weird i like i did not like the ending on the other hand the intro was actually really good the, in fact the, um the title card for the intro was probably one of the best like title in, in, introduction title card for a movie i have seen it in a while now, that's what like the talk should be about is a title card uh, I won't spoil it, but when they show Evil Dead Rise, that was cool. Especially seeing on the big screen and whatnot, that was a cool title card. Uh, other than that, good movie. If I'd give it one out of ten, uh, I'd probably give it like a seven point five out of eight. Uh, because I would give the original re uh, uh, remake uh, probably eight point five out of nine. I really liked the first one. Uh, I thought it was super good. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who agrees with that. I'm sure I'm not though. Um, I just I just prefer I would prefer if I got to choose I would prefer watching the first remake instead of this one. Uh, but again, this one did come close to like matching it a little bit. I, there's just some scenes in the first one I just prefer a lot more. Um, and that's kind of it. Uh, again, if you like if you like this review, uh, if you like this channel, please support it. Uh, subscribe, comment, like. Uh, this is Sprinkle the Cash Shine. Uh, with that being said, before I go, I would like to let you guys know that um, I love movies. I absolutely love movies. Um, I almost went to college for film, and then I kind of realized that like, I probably won't get a job, so I just ended up just working full-time. Uh, so, but I love movies. I try to see, last year I saw almost every single movie that came out last year on premiere night. I just love movies. Um Everything we're all at once. As you saw, I think it won like seven Oscars, some crazy shit like that. I think it's worth it. It was so worth it. Uh, I love that movie with all my heart. Um, I, if you guys want me to do like before, uh, what's the next movie I'm going to see in theaters? Um, uh, I have to go look through my planner again. Um, but before I go see another movie, if you guys want me to like do another um, movie related uh, video talking about my favorite movies... Or what I really like about movies. Or how I got into movies. Um, let me know. Uh, I already kind of originally planned on making those type of uh, videos. But uh, I was kind of wanted to see how this video goes out. Um, but again, if you, if you want to see more. Get more and more of my opinions. Uh, or see how. Um, or hear about how uh, I got to those opinions. What my favorite movies. And whatnot. Just let me know. 
Um, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. It's Sprinkle the Cash Sign.